hey, I was gonna show everyone how to make little bird ornaments. So really quick, this is what you need. Some fabric. So today we're gonna make red birds. You need a little piece of fabric. You need some fiber fill. You need some linen fabric or neutral or whatever you want for the little wings. Uh, two little eye buttons and two larger buttons. So let's get started. So this is super easy. So what we're gonna do is fold our fabric in half and we're gonna just take our bird template that you can print off from my uh, blog, jedicraftgirl.com and we're gonna pin our bird right sides together, the fabric. And I want my bird to be, have the um, plaid going on the diagonal. So I'm gonna kinda put him like that. Then I'm going to just pin him on. So we're not gonna draw or cut him out. We are going to actually sew along the edge of the bird. So make sure there's a quarter inch seam allowance and I'm just gonna roughly cut him out like this just to make it less bulky when we go to sew. So now we're gonna just sew all the way around him. I have my bird on my sewing machine and I'm using a straight stitch and we're gonna sew all the way around the bird along the pattern line and we're gonna back stitch to start and stop. We're not leaving a hole for turning. So I'm going to just follow. I'm gonna put my needle down. All right, so I've sewn around my bird. I'm going to just take off my pattern. And now I'm going to cut around. You can't even see the stitch because I use white thread, but I'm gonna cut around the bird using a quarter inch seam allowance here. Now that I have the bird cut out, I'm going to just take and do some little feathering, no pun intended, with my scissors around just to help the seams, the curvy parts of the seams, kind of lay a little nicer. So kind of just do some little cuts around. And then since we've sewn him all together, there's no place to um, turn him. So if you look here on the bird underneath here is a little slit where I've cut to turn. Take your bird and separate and you wanna just get a little piece where the wing is gonna go and do a little snip, and then take your scissors and do about a two inch straight little cut here. Just enough to turn it and enough to where you can get the fiber fill in. So now you're gonna turn them right side out. And I always like to use a little turn stick or we can use this one, which is fun, this little uh, Riley Blake Turner that my friend Bev designed and it has a nice angle that will help you with the beak. So just get them all turned and then we're gonna stuff them. Now that we have our birds stuffed, we're gonna sew up the side. And this is just like a rough sewing. I have a double threaded needle, so two strands knotted, and it's gonna get caught around the tail every time if you're not careful. And we're just gonna kinda do back and forth to close it. Now we're gonna make the little bird wings. So I've cut two strips, one and a quarter inch by 10 inches. And I'm not worrying about raw edges or anything. I don't mind it looking frayed. And I have a double threaded needle again. And we're gonna just do a running stitch and then pull it.
Now that I have my flower, I'm gonna take my larger button and I'm just gonna sew the button to the middle. So I'm just doing a diagonal crisscross button sewing on. Give it a few threads and knot it off and then make another one. I have my little bird wings done. Now we are going to just sew them in place. So I'm just kind of taking some of the bird with the needle and then coming up under the button, trying to hold it in place. Then I'm gonna go down, grab a little bit of the bird and come up. Oh my goodness, it catches every time. And I'm gonna just keep doing that until I feel like it's secured. If you're pressed for time, just plug in the hot glue gun. I need some eyeballs. So I have two buttons, two little eye buttons, and these we're gonna sew through the head. So I'm gonna sew them on, not one at a time, but yeah, that's, so you kinda wanna pick where you want the eyes. Pull your knotted double thread through, and then I'm going to, oh, he already looks cuter with eyeballs. I'm going to sew it and pull it through the other side and then grab the second eyeball. And I like to mismatch my buttons. So one has four holes and one has two holes. So then I'm gonna pull it kind of a little bit tight so it gives it a little bit of an eye socket as you pull it. So they don't look like they're just stuck to the side of his head, but actually, can you see that? And then I'm gonna just go back and forth a few times to secure the eyeballs. To give our bird a hanger, I have just threaded some baker's twine with a needle and I'm gonna just kind of pinch where I, I want them to hang. And I'm gonna just, it's like about a half inch from the seam. I'm gonna just pull that through and then you can kind of hold it up and see, do you like how he's hanging? I like that he's, his head's kind of hanging up. So I'm gonna go ahead and knot it right there and he's done. You could totally use a ribbon. You could add beads um, to the hanger, some greenery, or you can just have it really simple. So I'm gonna just trim that off. And now he is ready for the tree. So hope you had fun making the birds. Tag me so I can see your little birds. I'm gonna hang my little bird on the tree. So I'm gonna find a little spot, maybe right here. Can you see him? Maybe he's in the way. All right, isn't he cute? Yay!